Okay, y'all, I know this is gonna sound strange, but today I am not coming to you as BMAC Rights. I'm not coming to you as BMAC Speaks. I'm just coming to you as plain old Bridget. I'm coming to you and I'm talking to you all from the heart. Um, and I wanna talk to you all about why I'm quitting. Uh, why BMAC Rights is quitting. It's just something that I need to stop doing and it's something that it's hurting me and it's no longer worth it. So I quit. Today, I choose to quit allowing people get inside my head. I've talked about this on so many occasions, but it's easier said than done. Okay, so I've been very open about my life and everything that we've been through, and those of you may already know, and if you don't know, now you would know. Uh, it's going on five years since my little sister passed away. And I'll never forget this, because at her funeral, I had the extreme honor of writing and reciting a poem in her memory. But literally, as we're walking out the church, casket is in front of us, and the family is going out of the church. I'm standing outside, and I'm looking at the hearse, and they're putting her casket. Still can see her name on the casket. I'm just that close. Putting it in there. And one of the pastors came up to me, and he said, you know, that was a wonderful poem. He said, let me ask you something. Are you a lawyer? For a split second, I was like, wow, lawyer. And I was like, no, actually, I'm, I'm a writer. I'm a poet. I'm a blogger. And he quickly said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were accomplished. And he walked away. And I was like, did he just, did he just insult me and my sister? Huh. Huh. But I couldn't get offended about that right then. I had to wait. I said, I'm going to have to get offended by that tomorrow because I'm at my sister's funeral, so I need to go and do the morning thing. <laughs> so I decided to just, you know, push that off. I'm going to suck that up. But later on, I thought about that thing. And I was like, wow, I thought you were accomplished. I thought were you accomplished. And for every single time I was working, I was in mojo, I was writing, Satan would come in with those words. Well, he was prominent. Well, he knows. And he didn't think you were accomplished. What are you doing all of this for? Why are you working so hard? You would never make it. You would never succeed. You're not good enough. You're not worth it. They don't care what you're saying. They don't care what you're doing. And a lot of you are going through the exact same thing. A lot of you are working on your businesses. A lot of you want to go back to school. A lot of you are working in ministry. A lot of you are working on your families. A lot of you are on your careers and on your jobs, trying your best to just push forward. But all of those thoughts, all of those thoughts of doubt come up in your mind. And you be like, I'm not, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. And you always have those imps that are around you that's questioning whether or not you're capable or whether or not you're qualified or whether or not you'll ever make it. Don't let those people get in your head. Choose today that you are going to quit. Today is the last day you're going to allow the naysayers to get in your head. I had someone come up this week and say something that was negative. And it was hurtful because this, is, this person was supposed to be close to me. But then how do many of you know that the enemy is going to use those that are closest to you to bring you down. A lot of times they may not even mean it. I know a lot of my family, they didn't mean it, but they would joke all the time. Bridget ain't got no job. All she does is play on the computer. They didn't take in consideration the hours that it takes to write, to blog, to research, to edit the videos, to put everything together, to make sure you have your supplies. When I do my classes, you have to come together, you have to buy supplies, you have to put this stuff together. It's gas, it's time, it's mileage. And for me, I didn't have the luxury of being able to go to some big prominent, you know, Ivy League university. I, I went to school, I got my degree in computers, but at the same time a lot of these things were self-taught. I got a kid in college now. I can't afford to go to college. So in a lot of the things that I'm learning and doing now, this is me taking up extra courses. This is me doing a lot of research. This is the Holy Spirit downloading in me, helping me to do the research that I need. A lot of putting people in my path that's going to pour into me. But someone else will always come along and say, you're just a cheeseburger. I'm looking for steak. And for the longest, that got in my head. Until one day, God said, I never called for you to be a cheeseburger. I never called for you to be a steak. Because your worth is far beyond rubies. I'm a jewel, you're a jewel. You are worth more than the mediocre level that they're trying to put you on. So don't you dare give up. Don't you dare allow them to get in your head. If God called you to it, he will see you through it. He will see you through it. And yes, it's going to get hard, but to whom much is given, much is required. If it's worth having, then it's worth working for. No matter what you do, you keep holding on. You keep keeping the faith. If God called you to do this, then no matter what, he's going to see you through it. And a lot of times it takes longer. My walk is going to be a little longer than the next person. My walk may be a little shorter than the next person. Don't 
Don't put yourself up against the next person and compare your success with theirs because God has your own harvest in your own time. You will get your reward when he says it's time to. Sometimes we look at other people and we look at their successes and we think, well, God, they got this and they got that and they got this and I haven't gotten it yet. Why haven't you given it to me? And then after being impatient and after allowing Satan to come in and take away our faith, we give up. We walk away not knowing that our reward was just around the corner. You never know when that blessing is going to come in and God is going to bless you just like that. I heard this message from Judy Jacobs some years ago. She said, overflow just like that. When God gives it to you, it's going to be so overwhelming. It's going to take you by surprise. You're not going to believe it. You're going to look back and say, oh my gosh, I almost gave up, but now I see it was all worth it. Whatever you do, remember, you are worth more than rubies. So don't allow your circumstance, don't allow your situation, don't allow your environment, don't allow your peers, don't allow your family, don't allow anybody who have not heard from God to come in and talk down on you. You can do it. I can too. Today, choose to quit. Choose to quit allowing people to get in your head. You are a child of the King and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. What is yours is yours. If you want to make that business succeed, then go hard for it. If you want to go back to school, then baby do it. If you want to continue to work in ministry, then you go ahead and do it. If you want to stay home and just focus on your family, don't worry about what they're saying. You do it. Whatever God has called you to do, do it. Quit allowing the naysayers to get in your head. This has been Bridget and I hope this has been a blessing for you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.